So one fine day, I was randomly sitting and watching YouTube and I came across this video from Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft. I think the best way to prepare for it is to sort of not bet against this technology and this technology helping you in your job, in your business process. And especially at a time like this, Matt, like here we are, right? We have inflation, we have all of this macroeconomic. And I decided to see it for myself. How can chat GPT be a co-pilot for me as a project manager and a full stack web developer? Okay, so I was thinking, let's go back in time and build an Amazon again from scratch. So let's pick chat GPT's brain to create our e-commerce website together where we just sell books. Okay, so let me put my project manager hat on first. Alrighty, so the first thing I want chat GPT to do is to come up with the user requirements for this project. And here we go, let's give it a read and see if it makes sense. Okay, so what do we got here? First and foremost, we do need the user registration and login pages. So if the user is new, they should be able to register or sign up. And if they have an existing account, they should be able to log into their account. Product details is a good feature to have where we can see the description of the product with reviews and ratings. And then of course, we do need a shopping cart. It's an e-commerce website and we do need secure checkout as well. So if a user wants to purchase a book, now order tracking is also important important after the order has been placed. Of course, we need data security because sensitive information like credit card information could be stored on our website. So that looks pretty good. Now, once the requirements are set, the next thing we need is getting user stories. So let's ask our AI friend here to create user stories for some of the user requirements mentioned here. Honestly, I'm a bit happy to see here that the user stories are in the perfect format as they should be. So as a user persona, I want to do this action to accomplish that goal. So ChatGPT did generate these user stories in this format. As a new user, I want to be able to create an account on the website so that I can access features such as order history wishlist and personalized recommendations. But that being said, I am a little disappointed that the user stories are incomplete because they do not come with the acceptance criteria here. Acceptance criteria is really important for any user stories because it's a specific and defined list of conditions that need to be met before considering that story completed and deliverable. So as a project manager, I always create my user stories with a certain acceptance criteria. So let's go ahead and explicitly ask ChatGPT to provide the acceptance criteria for one of these user stories. Okay, for the acceptance criteria, it has, okay, a prominent create account and sign up buttons or a link. Then you have that the form should ask for basic information such as name, email address, implement a password strength indicator. That's a good one. So we have a good format for acceptance criteria here. You don't need to absolutely mention all of them, but at least we have a good format to start with now. Next, let's get another user story with acceptance criteria for a different user requirement, the product details page. Now the user story is, as a customer, I want to be able to view detailed information about a book, including cover image description, reviews, and rating, so that I can make informed decisions about whether to purchase the book. And the acceptance criteria should cover what needs to be done for the story to be considered deliverable. So this includes creating a cover image of the book and the user should be able to view customer reviews, ratings, etc. The reviews and ratings should be in an easy to read format. Reviews and ratings are displayed after being moderated by the website administrator. Now, once we have the user stories with the acceptance criteria, it will be really easy for me to just copy these user stories and put them onto our Jira project. Now, the next thing I do as a project manager is to break these user stories into smaller, more manageable tasks. So this would be a Jira subtask. So now let's get ChatGPT to create these Jira subtasks for us for the user story we just received in the last step. Alrighty, so let's take a look at these subtasks. The first one is pretty basic to display the book cover page on the product details page. So as suspected, Jira subtask for a user story should be more technical, right? So as you see, the second subtask is create a database field for book description, author, and publisher. And if we go on, it says uh, create database fields for customer reviews and ratings, create a user interface for customers to write and submit reviews. Then we're going to implement validation for reviews submitted by customers. Customers. It didn't give me the perfect set of subtasks, but it is a good starting point. And now I can take these subtasks, update them as per my needs and put them into Jira. So, so far having used ChatGPT has really saved me a lot of time because usually I do this practice of coming up with the user stories, creating the acceptance criteria, then breaking each of the user stories into subtasks. The journey doesn't end here. Now with the subtask, we also need a definition of done. So again, I am a bit disappointed that, that the definition of done was not provided with the subtask, but never mind. We can just get it ourselves later on. 
So for now, uh, I'm gonna remove my manager's hat now and I'm gonna put on a developer hat. Let's use ChatGPT to ask some technical questions now, which would help us select the right database for our system. Okay, so I'm gonna tell it what I'm building, which is an e-commerce website, and I'll ask it what database will be suitable for that. But seems like I have asked a very general question. So it did give me a whole lot of information, but so all it did was list all the popular databases that exist and it gave me general information about those. So let me be more specific in my ad. Let me give it my specific use case and then ask it what kind of database will be useful to implement this use case. Now I want to store different attributes related to a book in my database. Attributes such as image, description, reviews, and ratings, etc. So based on this information, you see ChatGPT was able to come up with a very specific and decisive response. It does tell me that based on the requirements I provided to it, a relational database like MySQL or PostgreSQL would be a good choice to build a website that sells books. It also tells me how I can use a relational database by creating multiple tables that contains different kind of information related to the book and how it can join them or link them using a foreign key. For example, one table can contain the general information related to the book, for example, the author, genre, cover image, description, etc. And another table can be created just for reviews, where each row of this table will contain detailed information about the review. For example, the text of the review and the rating of the book and who wrote the review, etc. And here you can also see just to be safe and to provide a wholesome response, ChatGPT also provided us with another option, which was using a document-based database or a MongoDB or a NoSQL database, but it's just present in the response and not covered in detail because ChatGPT really thinks that that going with the relational database would be a better choice here. Alrighty, although at this point, I seem to be pretty satisfied with my ChatGPT experience, it's really gonna help me build this online bookstore. But just to continue the fun, I kept on asking it random questions regarding the different front-end frameworks I can use to build my bookstore, and also like which one's the best and the advantages of using one over the other, just to pick its brain. But so far, I seem to have accomplished a lot of things with ChatGPT, especially as a project manager. It helped me gather requirements, write user stories, come up with acceptance criteria, also create tasks and subtasks for Jira. I already know that this is going to save me a lot of time. And also, I already think that this has been a very long video. I don't want to stretch it any further. So that said, that was me having fun with ChatGPT. As a project manager and a full stack web developer, let me know your experience down in the comment section below if you have had your share of fun with it and if you liked it or not. Also head to the comment section if you want to answer the most asked question and the most dreadful question at the moment in the tech industry and outside. Do you think it's ready to take our jobs or will it ever be? What do you think about it?